Field chips were disappointed. You would think with the amount of BS that school puts us through that to be able to take some time away and spend a day somewhere else would be immaculate. Before I ever went on my first field trip, I used to think they were on some magic school bus type-ish, but they took us on the most depressing, boring, and brain-shrinking field trips ever. And this played a big part of my life because in my K through 12 years, I went on a total of about 5 field trips. Like they were rarer than a Ben Simmons bucket, but y'all already know that every field trip that I went on was a family-sized bag of cheeks. So today, we will be discussing the worst parts about- What is the worst field trip to go on? I don't care what anyone says it- it's either, no, some museums are interesting, don't get me wrong, but what the fuck do I look like as, as a kid wanting to look at art pieces? Did you think me as a, as a fourth grader, my ass was going to go to a museum and be like, this shit is amazing. Bitch, I am a kid. I am trying to go to the zoo or SeaWorld. That was the only two valid field trips as an elementary schooler. Anything else, yo ass tweaking, bruh, respectfully speaking field trips and some of my personal experiences with them and like and subscribe if you're new like i said earlier i feel like after middle school we don't even go on field trips anymore they were as extinct as the dinosaurs they took us to go see or if we did have a field trip in high school you had to go out of your way to go on one see back in elementary and middle school the teacher would pass out permission slips the entire oh shit my i don't even have the the, the such shit on yo yo see i appreciate you gango catch at me the shit Maybe, maybe. I'll see I'll see how generous I'm feeling. Appreciate you, Gango. Oh Alright. Got, got it. Bye. Alright, oh right, let's keep going. Let, let's finish this shit. Higher class. When you hit high school. Bro, did you go to the Holocaust Museum too with us back in high school? That shit was fun. Look, 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 no, no, no. I don't mean that gotta be the craziest out of context shit ever. I meant the museum. The museum was in like Meaning, like, it was entertaining to go on because it, the knowledge was crazy. The Holocaust is, is, a, is a horrible event that shouldn't have happened. Yo, bro, that... See, back in elementary and middle school, the teacher would pass out permission slips to the entire class. But when you hit high school, that shit was kept undercover. Then just out of nowhere, you see a group of your classmates going on a bus to an amusement park or something. And the amusement park was a one-time thing, don't get it twisted. And not to mention, my school used to be taxing the hell out of us to go on these field trips. Niggas had to pay a college tuition to go on basic-ass field trips to a museum. Like, I get it, the school gotta pay for buses, gas, and shit. But there should be no reason why I had to pay a fucking mortgage for it. The rest of the field trips that I went on must have been chose by Doodle Bob or something, bro. Now we gotta talk about how early we had to be at the school for these field trips. I didn't mind that. Nigga, the, the air on school field trips were different. Huh? Yo, is this nigga Amito stupid? Yo, bitch, I said, nigga, the Holocaust is a bad thing that no one should have endured. What the fuck does that have to do with Palestine and Israel? Yo, bro, I'm not even gonna address some dumb niggas, bro. Yo, shut up, bro. Yo, Star, appreciate you, Gango. Thank you for the sub. Um, like I was saying, um, nigga, the air in the school field trips was different, bro. That shit was immaculate. I... Y'all remember them field trips where you had to get your, um, 250 subs? Oh! Yo! Nigga, that's a new high! Yo, that's... Yo, right, yo, Star, you just did some... I ain't even... See. Yo, 250 is fine. Yo, bro, I appreciate y'all niggas, bro. Everyone that sub, thank you. You know that shit gonna go down tomorrow, but... 250 subs, that's a... That's a big do you. Like I was saying, though. Um... Yo, 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 all... all right, Star, appreciate you for completing that. But, um... Like I was saying... Bro, I was excited to wake up early early in the morning for a field trip because knowing it's a field trip, we don't got to be in school premise. So that shit was five. 250 is 100K dollars. No, the hell is not. Now, for me personally, I already had to get up at the crack of dawn to go to school. I come to school with bags deeper than Kobe Bryant. But if I went on a field trip, that shit was like living with insomnia. The moment I put my head down to go to sleep, I had to get... Boy, you, 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 I think you could now, nigga. I surpassed the sub count. Yo, bro, you appreciate the big sub, bro. Thank you, bro. Brian. But if I went on a field trip, that shit was like living with insomnia. The moment I put my head down to go to sleep, I had to get right back up to go to school. And when I would get there, we had to wait an extra hour for these slow ass teachers to put groups together. Not to mention, once we deadass had to wait for one student who decided he wanted to come a week later. If it were up to me, I would have left that nigga in the dust. But they made us wait for one person to come to school. And the crazy thing is to me is that the places we would go to would close like. Nah, actually, I don't. I don't mind that, bro. Unless your your spot in the, in the bus seat was bad, w w like you don't care if a nigga comes late. Like if anything, imagine roles were reversed and your ass was the one that woke up late and and they left your ass. Of course you would feel bad too. 8 p.m. So there is dead ass no reason for us to be leaving so early like we're headed to the airport. Now we gotta talk about the lunches. Now if you watch my video covering school lunches, then you already know about the nuclear waste they were trying to pass off as food. So when we would go on these field trips, all they would do was wrap it in saran wrap. This meant that pretty much everybody brought their own lunch. No no, 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 no. I don't know what type of horrible school your ass went to. Field trips, field trip food was actually pretty fine. 
It was fine. Th them thick ass peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Those were those ones were better than what the hell they serve at school. Nobody was gonna risk hospitalizing themselves with school food because they were too lazy to pack their own lunch. And obviously I took full advantage of this situation and brought the most delectable goodies I had. I'm talking Oreos, Doritos, Capri Suns. My brown paper bag was looking like a Nikocado avocado mukbang in this bitch. But the problem is that we couldn't eat till like five hours later. We would be walking around all day, but couldn't sit down and regain our energy until it was damn near time to leave. The chaperones would deadass wait until our bodies were fucking see-through until they let us eat. And once we went on this field trip in this forest or something, it felt like the niggas had us looking for bigfoot and they made us eat outside it was muddy and dirty as hell it looked like everybody yeah bro yeah i don't know what's wrong with these stock images can you please find better stock images because i don't like what i'm seeing right now had dookie booty afterwards not to mention the bugs were jumping the shit out of us like power rangers but regardless lunch was only one of the slight w's about field trips now it's time to talk about the buses now i don't know about y'all but whenever we would take a normal bus to a field trip the bus would Shout out my girl. What's her name? The Harriet Tubman. Nigga, the back of the bus is the, is the littest shit ever. Oh, no, bro. I feel like if you gave it enough time, white people were probably going to argue that they wanted to sit in the back. Hey, hey, I said it. I, if it's cancelable, it's cancelable. But it's the truth. Because we all know, collectively speaking, that the best part of the bus is the back. Rosa Parks. I said Rosa Parks, right? The fuck did I say Harriet Tubman? look like pig pen had just threw a party in that motherfucker like the bus would make new york city look clean like y'all knew a bunch of kids were gonna be on this bus yet you refused to clean it and more often than not there would be too many kids for the bus and we had to triple up in one seat and once there was four kids in one seat and they dead ass were sitting on each other's laps bro but when we would leave in the morning it felt like everybody snorted five lines beforehand it was a fucking ride on the bus a whole bunch of tomfoolery you couldn't even hear yourself think but one time we had an out-of-state trip that we went on this meant that we got to take a charter bus there and i remember we were geeked out our fucking minds Charter buses makes you feel like you a celebrity going on a world tour, bruh. That shit is actually fine. You can hate on sc um, school buses all you want. Charter buses is where it's at. We dead ass felt like celebrities, bro. And I remember it being the best experience I ever had on a bus. But let me tell y'all this. At the very back of the bus, there was a bathroom with a toilet. And if you're familiar with my channel, then you already know what this on- if I don't trust school bathroom buses, hell no, I'm not going to trust no school bus bathroom. Terrible act is coming next. While we were coming back from our trip, this big ass kid, like no exaggeration, he was built like Butterbean. This nigga ran to the back of the bus and went into the bathroom. Everybody looked at the back of the bus in pure terror. We already knew what was coming next. About 15 minutes later, he opened the door and dear God, the most stomach turning, nose hair burning, vomit inducing smell violated our fucking noses. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the windows on the buses couldn't open? I dead ass started typing my will to send to my parents. And to this day, that is the closest I've ever come to be put on a shirt. But the bus ride coming back from the field trip might possibly be the biggest vibe to ever hit planet Earth. Most of the crackheads I mentioned before would be passed out, but I didn't trust falling asleep on a bus full of teenagers. Them window seat or, 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 or um, whatchamacallit, the seat right next to it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm usually a window seat ass nigga, but if you really think about it, it's kind of, like, if the person to the right of you is big as hell, like, not big in terms of weight, I mean big in terms of, like, circumference, that shit could really feel like a little prison, bruh. That's the only reason why sometimes I don't like the window seat. And let's say your ass is actually trying to rest, right? You're trying to go like this. Bruh, the bus driver are horrible drivers. Your ass gonna bump this shit like shit, bruh. This shit will never work. Your head will not be in a, in a comfortable state. And your legs are trapped. You don't got that same, you know? You, you don't got that same freedom. And another thing, uh, another thing that's negative about having a window seat, nigga, you know, bruh, if your ass is on the outer seat, you could talk to people. You could talk to the person, you know, to the right of you, to the left of you, you know? But when you're when you in that corner, the shit don't work. Them niggas would have had my face looking like a desk in detention. Now we gotta talk about the chaperones that would come with us on these field trips. Little did we know back then, but these were the Karens before they were famous. Firstly, half the chaperones would be the teachers themselves, and y'all already know how I feel about my teachers, but the other half would be these kids' parents. And some of them would be cool, but some of them would be the most immoral individuals I've ever came in contact with. They used to be so fucking strict for no reason. I get it, you don't want to lose any kids or have anybody get hurt. But at the same time, let me get on my door shit and go explore. Like, they wouldn't let us do anything, and they were always yelling at us for no reason. They were getting mad over the smallest shit they really thought they were intimidating niggas too they thought they were making a shake in our boots but in reality nobody give a fuck about them or what they had to say they dead ass made most of my teachers look like heavenly angels now that's some shit i never thought I would witness with my pupils now we gotta talk about how boring most of the field trips were i know that most of you have gone on the stereotypical museum field trip those were by far the worst field trips fuck do i look like walking around for hours looking at bones and most of the time there were
the only lit the only lit museum I've been to was the Holocaust one. Stop, 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 stop. Let's let's be for real. Let's be for real. Stop, stop. That shit was like actually fire though. Okay, yo, so I gotta I gotta find a better way with words. There was nothing for us to interact with. It was just like window shopping at the mall when you got no bread. Another field trip that I vividly remember was to this village. And it was pretty much a bunch of grown ass niggas pretending like they were from the 1940s. It was a bunch of old ass niggas giving lectures about how people lived back then. Like bro, I really don't care about how old man McGucket was churning butter. And I know y'all also remember the classic zoo field trip. I think this is when I realized how corrupt and twisted zoos were. Like these niggas were just sitting in their pens like moody teenagers. When in reality they should be out hunting a gazelle or something. They also smelled worse than butter being from the charter bus. Which seemed like a damn near impossible feet but zoo field trips were really just depressing to me free my niggas out the pen and i know y'all remember the merchandise stores that they used to have now back then i had no funds to my name and like i said earlier the field trip itself costed a lung and a kidney so i never had any money to bring on these field trips the chaperones tried their hardest to try and cock block us from going to the stores though but at the same time i wasn't really missing out on shit that's true nigga the only nigga the only good thing about the goddamn field trips like at least the museum ones were, were, were the little items you could get i mean yeah i was also a broke ass nigga you know I still am. Nothing much changed 20 years later, but, you know, the least you could have done is w was have us purchase some shit. And an another thing that I was going to state, field trips started falling off after people went to middle school and high school. You know, elementary school, what? You would go to the zoo. You would go to SeaWorld, you know, but why am I keep saying, you know, is that like my, you know, when you have that, when you have that one word your ass keep repeating, that's what's happening right now. This shit kind of sad because everything in those stores looked like it fell off the back of a fucking pickup truck. And they had to nerve to be taxing us just as much as the schools did. They did ask for charging $50 for a stuffed giraffe. I can get the same thing off- I forgot what I was gonna say. After elementary, after elementary school, field trips started going downhill when the whole point of you going to the field trip was for assignments. Bitch, I thought this was a day away from school. What do you mean this is school 2.0? I hear, I'm came, I came here to look at giraffes. <laughs> Niggas telling me to analyze a fucking art piece. Whole time the art piece is a trash can. And then I think that's in high school is when I decided to strategically not go to certain field trips because I was like, I can't take this. Amazon for a fifth of the price. And of course, these NPCs that I went to school with were cashing out on all this shit. These museums were really trying to finesse some bands from some 12 year olds, put their ass behind bars for life. I also got to mention what would happen when we would see another school on the same field trip as us. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when we seen a different school district on the same field trip as us, it was on site. There was more beef than a filet mignon. I remember me and my group of friends pulled up on another group of students and started begging them. But one time it went too far and a fight broke out, and someone from our school folded another kid like Sunday laundry. But by far, the absolute worst. The worst part about field trips is the work that we had to do after. You would think that after spending six hours at a museum that the teacher would let us- I actually wasn't called- I was one of those niggas that was missing in the field trip. And you know what they asked threatened when they found me? They was like, we about to send you home. We about to send you home. Because your ass shouldn't be wandering and we're responsible for you. Send me home then, nigga. <laughs> send me home. Let's go about our jolly way. But these niggas don't believe in peace. After spending a whole day at a science museum, everybody is struggling to stay awake and they got the nerve to hand me a five page packet. And what's crazy is that the packet wouldn't even be about our favorite experiences or anything. There'll be actual work with questions about what they were explaining on the field trip. We would have to write constitution length essays about how Facts. photosynthesis works. Facts. My nigga, the whole point that I went on this field trip was to get away from doing this shit. At this point, I should have just stayed at school. And speaking of staying at school, Finally, we got to talk about what it was like staying behind on a field trip when most of the other kids went on it. I remember in middle school, I stayed behind on one field trip and I was scared to go to school that day. I thought they were going to make us work. But let me tell you, it was the most divine, soothing and majestic day I've ever had at school. It was just me, my friend and some random bra that we don't really care about. But we literally spent the entire day just playing board games and using our phones. A day away from those preposterous people just felt so therapeutic. But speaking about staying behind on the field trips just jogged my memory about the kids who will get left on the actual field trip. Once we left this kid at a science museum and we didn't realize till we were like five blocks away already but nobody i used to be sad about missing out on field trips only like y'all know when your teachers were throwing you and be like oh because your ass is misbehaving you won't go on this field trip they used to have us on a chokehold bruh but now if a teacher says you're not going on a field trip i'm gonna be like all right nigga all right. He even realized he was missing, not even his group mates. So we had to spin the block to come pick him up. I don't think he really cared, and that probably should have been a lawsuit, but hey, I'm not the feds. But I think that's going to cover everything in this video, man. And one That was a good video. Once again, this is just another episode in the school is shitty crime. I ain't going to lie, that was a good video. But yeah, YouTube, that does include features for disappointing. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you guys don't on Discord, catch us on Twitch, all that good stuff. Boxer for life. Love y'all, and peace.